First thing you want to gonna do is go into the first link in my description. Then you're gonna get this little template here. We're gonna start off with it starts off as a Top Gun one. You can change it to anything. You can use any movie, but I mean, there's a free Top Gun one if you want to start with that. And if you do like Top Gun, but what you're gonna to want to do is go into your Google, go to a new tab, and then just search up any movie that you want to do a poster of. In this case, I chose Batman. Then you're gonna to want to go to Wikipedia just because it has kind of all the little information. Here we start off with the just the name of the, t the film. Um, of course, it's the Batman. And then you can kind of change everything else after that. But like, of course, put the, the film name down. Then you're going to see, look for the release date here. It's March 4th. Just look for the, the worldwide release date or the U.S. one, depending on if you're in the U.S. or not. Then you're going to put that in, you know, copy and paste. Make it look good. So in here, I size up the Batman so it looks a little bit like bigger. Top Gun Maverick was a little bit longer taking, so it had to be a little smaller. Either way, then you're going to go to the starring. Just take the top three people, probably the most three most important people in the movie. You're going to copy their names down. Then you're going to put it in and just, you know, this one didn't really fit. So I had to, I had to make it a little bit smaller for the text. But it does look a little weird because I had already set them up to be all the same, you know, text size. But it, it works either way. And as long as it looks good in your opinion, just do whatever you want. Here I also just put it at a half size so it looks a little bit better here and you know it kind of it kind of worked out really well so I just just use half sizes also because it's probably going to be taking up the whole thing. Next up I went to who the director is in this case it's Matt Reeves and then you're just going to replace Joseph Kaczynski with Matt Reeves or I don't I don't know Joseph's last name but I think it's something like that. Then last up, you're just going to put the runtime in here. It, it should be in minutes, but if there's like a super long one, maybe you can do hours. I don't really know. I like the minutes, 176 minutes on this one. And last up, you just look at the distribution company, who in this case is Warner Bros. Pictures. And, you know, it kind of just all turns out well. And last but not least, you're going to have to, you know, of course, find the photo. We already got a Top Gun one here, but we look. You're going to have to look up Batman stills or just you know, Batman shots. I don't, I don't really know. You just look up your movie and then posters or whatever. And then you just look for one that is a large size. So in these case, these ones look, you know, very big already, but I took this one. I feel like it kind of fits the vibe of Batman more than at least the other ones do. And then I dragged it in and I just kind of, you know, made it fit. I mean, in this case, I just moved it over a little bit. So the Batman was centered and I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I feel like this is a pretty solid poster. And then what you're gonna wanna do after this and just make sure everything looks good. I just did a little bit of clean up. Maybe you change a font or you change the text size or whatever, you know, just do whatever you want to make it look the best in your opinion. And then you're just gonna download the poster, wait for it to download. And then, you know, you're just gonna drag it onto FedEx or you can make another poster. I got a whole nother method right now. Another way you can do it is using 11 by 17 posters. I got the link in the description for that as well. Then you're going to go to this poster thing, the one that says 11 by 17 inches. Then you're going to load it up, you know, it's just a little white thing. But then you're going to have to look for a poster that can fit on the 11 by 17 one. Here I look up the Batman posters just because I feel like regular movie posters do just look a lot better on these 11 by 17 ones. Come up and I, I take a little bit little bit of time looking for the right one but I eventually stumble on the perfect one which is just this you know regular <laughs> Batman red poster I feel like the red in the rain you know it looks really good and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop it into your file it's gonna look really small because the one I picked was a little bit small when I do like zoom it out though it doesn't look that pixelated or anything so I think it looks pretty good but I would suggest going for ones that are larger than this just because you know this one might not turn out as well as I thought but either way it, it does look pretty good and then you can just download your poster and do everything like that but I would suggest going for a larger one of course just because I I would rather have one that looks good I, I've printed a couple that have not turned out well and it's kind of like you know you're just throwing away two and a half dollars which kind of sucks but either way just make sure you get one that is large size so it will look good when you do print it out. Next up, of course, you're going to go to FedEx to print these out. You know, FedEx is the best. I'm pretty sure it might only work in the United States. But definitely check it out if you are in a different country. There definitely will be other ways to print it out. But here, first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is activate that 2.5% cash back from Rakuten. If you do use the link in the description to sign up for Rakuten, you'll get $30 off your first purchase or $30 cash back and you'll also give me $30 which really supports the channel. Here they also had 30% off the $100 print order so if you guys are seeing this video 
like in a couple days after it comes out, definitely try and do that. And then you're just gonna go to upload file and then you're gonna take your files that you've already downloaded and you're just gonna wait for this, you know, to, to do its little thing. But then you're gonna take your files that you've already downloaded and just drag them in. First off, use the eight and a half by 11 one. That's what I did first. It takes a little bit to upload, but you know, once it's in, it prepares the files to print and it's all good. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure it looks good. So of course the high quality images, they do look a lot better on this and the little print thing. Then you're gonna change the, the paper to 80 pounds. You can really use any of these. Other ones are a little bit cheaper, but I think the 80 pounds ones do look the best. And then finally, you're gonna just add it to your cart once you're fully done with everything. But you can kind of figure out uh, a couple of other things with these options and then finally it's going to take you to your cart where then you can proceed to check out or what you can do is add another poster like I'm going to show you now. You're just going to go back to that FedEx logo and kind of do the same thing but this one we're with a different size poster because these are the 11 by 17 ones the you know the movie posters that we just downloaded and you know it takes a little bit to upload but especially with these ones because they are different sizes it will be a little bit more expensive but i do think these ones look a lot better than the other ones and since they are like an actual movie poster you know some people will like them more in my opinion they're basically the same as the other ones they're not really any different and uh when you actually make the other posters i feel like that you know it gives you a little bit of like you know i did this i made that but either way they both look very good in like a dorm room or just your regular room i've got a bunch of them in my room and I'm going to put some in my dorm room when I do eventually move in. And then it's going to prepare your files for printing. And then you're finally going to get ready. And once it finally starts downloading, you can see your file and see if it looks good. Of course, you know, mine, since it's a little bit of a smaller one, I did have to look at that like print thing. But then you're going to go want to go to the product print properties and then change it to 11 by 17 because this one we download as an 11 by 17 image and then you're going to want to go to 80 pounds or 60 pounds really just go with whatever one you feel like is best you can go with a cheaper one if you're going to put in a frame don't go for the more expensive ones but if you're going to have it out just go like that and then you can also do like a glossy or a matte just kind of whatever you want and just wh whichever one you think looks best do that and then you're just going to add it to your cart Last but not least, you're just gonna get your stuff. I couldn't actually add the 11 by 17 one to my cart, which is a little weird, but you know, do whatever you want with that information. Then you're gonna proceed to check out. I would always say pick up at the store because it's gonna be a lot cheaper than delivery. If you are doing delivery, of course, use the Rakuten where you can get $30 cash back because that's gonna be, of course, a lot more expensive. And you know, you're more likely gonna be able to get that $30 cash back from Rakuten. But either way, I just wanna thank you guys for the video and definitely be picking these ones up from the store instead of you know shipping them to your house because it's always gonna be cheaper. But if you do, please use the Rakuten. It supports the channel, it supports me, and I can see, keep making templates like this for you guys.